Okay, fish on. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. And this afternoon, we're gonna go beach fishing for some epic session with the boys here this afternoon. We got a fish on guys, here by Master Lester. Nice one Master! Woo. Sweet lips! Nice there. First blood. Sweet lips. So if you want to catch some fish, go with this person. <laughs> Good one. Nice one, Master. Ha, <laughs> cute. Cute. Hi. This venture. <laughs> What I've done here guys is I just put a burly there next to where I'm gonna fish and of course we're gonna target the spot as close as the rocks because we know that's where the fish are holding and in this side here there's like a rocky area and a snug area so we're just gonna try to avoid that spot there and go cast over that sandy area Pak, wala. That's the burly guys. And we're just gonna cast this one here near the rocks. We're just gonna walk towards that rock here. And let's hope to, to snag something big. It's the incoming tide and the water temperature is really good. Water is very clear. That one's a good cast. We just got over the reef. Very relaxing guys. Very nice afternoon. Nice master. What did you cut it with? Congrats, Master! Batalaga pag Master, Let's measure him up. Oh, 
may sumatag pala sila, kaya pala patatapasok sila. Pasok! Sabanga. Ano sabanga? 50... 1, 2, 3, 4, 54 cm! Yeah! Ayos! Fifty four centimeter master. Yes. Got a fish on. It's not too big. It feels like a brimbo. We'll see if it's a brimbo. Oh, it's pulling line. Flatty! Flatty guys! We got a flatty. Good size flathead. Let's put him in the mat. A baby, baby flathead. 45. 45. 45 centimeter. Good job. 45 Ah, let's get a flathead, guys. In two minutes time after we cast it. That's good. Let's show it to them. This is the first one that Leo catched, caught. <laughs> and this is mine. Mine look like a baby. <laughs> so that one's 45 centimeter and his is 55 centimeters. They're just there, starting to bite now. So where I'm casting is not too far because there's so many snags in there. Just there. Okay, fish on. Woo! <laughs> Woo Another one. What's happening here? Tago sa bato eh. Tago sa bato. It feels like a flatty or ah, uh, it's hiding under the rocks, guys. Ah, uh, I think that was 20 seconds. Pago sa bato. Pago sa bato. Sayang. Whew. That was a big one. Very big. Then it hid under the rocks. Let's wait for a while. And let's see if it's gonna come out. Nara sa dool, bay. Nara sa dool. What was that? Try right, to cast again, guys. I just got snagged. I had a big bite and the fish just dragged me through the rocks then I have to pull the line then suddenly my line snapped so we're gonna try to cast again hopefully we can catch something here there's so many snags here 
That's why our setup is the Paternoster rig. Too many snacks. Okay, let's cast again. The fish, the fish are not far, they're just here, around 30 meters distance, they're just there. You don't have to cast that far. But it's just a small fish, I can feel it's just nibbling on my bait. Tap, 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 then it disappears, then it comes back again. So usually if it's a big fish, it's just gonna smack the bait straight away and it will make a big run but this one here is just small tap which i believe are small brims like that if you can see my rod tip yeah these are just small baits i mean small brim or small fish nothing really big i might have to check my bait i might just get baited still on let's pull some slack I think it's on is it swimming towards me? no nothing yeah I just got baited yeah nothing just gonna rebait and cast it again so where I cast it is not too far it's just near the deep hole right there if you see the dark colored water we're gonna try to rebate same spot but at this time i'm gonna make it a bit further it's a beautiful day today it's not too windy the wind is about 20 knots and it's it's the incoming tide it's not too hot or too cold, the water is very, very clear. Yeah, I, I can feel some bites there, but nothing really big, nothing really major. So far we've caught a big sweet lips by Lester. I caught a flathead, uh, 45 centimeters, and JR's got a 55 centimeters flathead. We got a small nibble there. Ah, oh, I got snag. That's absolutely snag. I'm going to try to change my setup to a gang hook and let's try if it's gonna work or not it's gang hook but it's like a knocker rig the sinker is there and the three gang hooks are there and that's just one bead right there let's see if it's gonna work I've been snagged all the time there so hopefully that's gonna work I'm just gonna put some whole peel charts in there that's our bait and I'm just gonna cut the tip of the tail so it's not gonna rotate I just move on this side to avoid the snags and in this way we can target some tailor that was a good cast good distance and all we need to do is just to wait for that big fish to bite And now it's dark now guys it's getting dark and we're still hoping for a proper tailor tonight there Lister nice master sabi ko sayo eh you shown guys
Taylor. This is a Taylor, guys. Ah. Come on. Taylor! Taylor! Yeah! It's right there. Woo! Wow! Woo -hoo! Taylor, Taylor. Ah! Yeah! Taylor guys from the beach. Woo! I'm so stoked. That's a big Taylor. Woo! He took it on a peel chart bait guys using a three gang hook. Woo! Big fat, big fat Taylor guys. If you can see that one. Wow. <laughs> Guys, we're just gonna quickly measure him up. And the brag mat is here. Of the brag mat he goes. So earlier we've got two lizards here. Oh, still alive. <laughs> Where is he? He's right here. Let's see how big he is, guys. I'm just being careful. That he can't bite me. Si ano kagabi, di ba nakagat? Alright. Let's see how big he is, guys. 50... 51... 52. 52 centimeters. 52 centimeters, Taylor, guys. That's good. Mine. <laughs> Mine. Oh, shout out, Lester. Mine. Yours. Yeah, na mo sila. It's very important, guys. When you catch a tailor, you bleed it straight away, so you can have a good taste. So you're preparing? Yeah, we're preparing the bait. So we're just gonna. Chuck another bait guys using our three gang hook. Three gang hook then this <laughs> done in English way. If a big tailor grabs it, he can't bite your main line. You're gonna be safe from losing your tackle. So that's how the bait should look like. And it should be straight. Some people cut the tail off so it's not gonna spin around in the water. But that one's really, really good. All right, let's cast it again. <laughs> I'll try to cast around 50 meters from the beach. Yeah. Hopefully there's some big ones there hanging around. Garbis Walker. It's a 40 pound, 18 kilograms, 100 meters, 0.6 mils. Not too bad, it can handle the tailor. Shout out to Denver guys. Welcome to OC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and shout out to Leo, Master Leo. Oh. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Ah, <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> oh, it's a shovel nose, mate. Congratulations, mate. <laughs> Congrats, Ian. <laughs> another shovel nose. 
I think that's the one you got last night. Yeah, sim. <laughs> sim. Sim, sim. Sim, sim. <laughs> nice one, master. Nice one. What is this oh. one? Sige. Wala. Nakabuhi. Nakabuhi ito po. Pero na ito? Oo, oh, ibubukat kayo. Iya nga ito eh. Wala. Oh, Kaon lang. Dako gito ba? Dako gito? Alright, let's check what we've got tonight. That's a tailor. That's the flathead. Woo. That's a big lizard. Baby lizard. And they've got a shovel nose. How good is that? I thought it was the end of the video, but Lester's still catching some more fish here. That's a big brim, mate. Nice catch, master. How to be you, po? <laughs> hey! Woohoo! And that concludes our session tonight. If you want to see more fishing videos like this, please click subscribe and share and comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.